Hello, welcome to Capstone Live. I'm Michael Dahl, and today I have a very special guest. Her name is Emma Ko, and she is a fantastic reader. Thanks for coming, Emma. I'm glad you're here. Now, I understand you read my book, Hocus Pocus Hotel, is that right? Yes. And I also hear that you liked the book. I loved it. Oh, well, great. Tell me, what did you like about it? I liked how there was how it was really exciting and there are little mysteries in the middle of the book. Uh-huh. Very cool. Did you have a special character at all that you liked in the book? I liked Charlie and Tyler the uh -huh. best. Good. Yeah, Charlie and Tyler, they're two boys in the book that work together to solve the mystery. And normally at school they would never talk to each other, right? No. Because one is sort of a bully and the other Charlie's sort of like what? What would you how would you describe him? He likes school, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so too. He's sort of a good student. He's brainy, and he likes books, sort of like you do. Well, let's do something. Pretend this camera is your friend, and you want to tell them how to read my book, this one here. What would you say to them? I would probably say he, you should really read this because it's really exciting, and it has... has two small mysteries in it. Okay, that's really cool. And they're both super interesting. Oh, good. Super interesting, really exciting, and it has two mysteries, not just one. Excellent. Thank you. We need more critics like you, Emma. It's like one mystery built into another. That's right, exactly, because I like lots of puzzles when they're I like read a book. They're like working on one mystery and then they run into another mystery. Yeah, I know. I like stories like that, too, so that's why I like to write about them. You're right, because you want to have more happening, right? Not just one. That's boring. Tyler does run into someone. Yeah, and he runs into someone. Very good. Does he really run into someone or not? No, he doesn't really. Yeah, we don't want to give that away because that's part of the mystery, isn't it? Yeah, but it looks like he runs into somebody. And plus that book has some really cool art in it too. Some really good illustrations. Did you like those too? Did you have any favorite pictures at all that you liked? Probably the one with Abracadabra. Oh, Mr. like... Mr. Abracadabra. Yeah, like here shows one. a really good picture of Abracadabra. He's the old wizard who actually built the hotel, didn't he, years and years ago. And he didn't really disappear, did he? No. He's in the story as a different character. Well, I noticed that they had the same eyes. <gasps> oh, that's very, you are very observant. That's just what a detective needs. You need to look at things and be able to put things together. <gasps> that's really smart. The illustrator did that on purpose, didn't they? They gave him the same color eyes. Would you read another one in the mystery series? Yes, I oh, really good. like them. Oh, good. Well, good. That's always good for an author to hear. Can you remember the, like, the last story you read just recently besides mine? Well, recently I read the Hyperspace High books. Oh, yeah, those are cool. The science fiction ones. Did you like those? I like those too because they're all about students that get together from all over the galaxy and they're like different aliens and they're on this school which is like this huge gigantic rocket ship. Would you ever do anything like that? Would you go to a school that's in outer space? Probably not. Oh really? I think it would be fun. I would love to. Would you like to meet an alien? I don't really know. <laughs> Until it happens. You never know. I could be an alien. I have a question. Oh, what is it? What book are you writing next? Oh, good question. Well, I'm writing something mysterious, but it's not a mystery. It's actually a scary story. Ooh. I'm writing a book, and it has six scary stories in it. And you yeah, want to hear what the title is? Yes. It's called The Doll Waved Goodbye and Other Scary Tales. It's a doll that this girl just loves. Her grandma had it, then her grandma gave it to her mom, then her mom gave it to her, and so after all those years, part of the doll fell apart, all that's left of the doll is a little hand, and she wears the hand around her neck, and sometimes it moves. That's creepy. <laughs> but I think you'll have fun, because they're scary, but they're not too scary. Everybody doesn't feel it moving. Well, actually, you might if you're, if, if you're aware, or else, what happens if it drops on the floor 
And it starts crawling around. Gonna freak everyone out like a spider, right. spider. I know. And so I like to write stories about things that scare me, because I figure if they scare me, maybe they'll scare somebody else. A tan spider's crawling up the wall. Yes, I know. But it's really a hand. Well, thank you very much for coming, Emma. Thank you, our audience, and Mr. Camera. <laughs> and please join us for our next installment of Capstone Live.